Hi, my name is Tom Bunchbach and I teach AP Calculus at Princeton High School. By now you should know most of your derivative rules. You are probably wondering, how will I ever use this stuff? When it comes to making the most efficient use of materials, calculus is the math tool to use. We can use calculus to determine optimum values, maximums and minimums. Given some information, you can find the smallest amount of material to make a can of a certain volume. Find the largest area of land that can be enclosed by a certain amount of fencing. You can even find out how high a football can be punted before you hang your big screen. Sorry about that one, cowboy fans. Okay, maybe you're not interested in any of those things. One thing you'll probably agree on, pizza. You can find the maximum volume of a pizza box can be cut from a sheet of cardboard using calculus. Suppose that the cardboard for pizza boxes is 47 centimeters by 95 centimeters. Pizza boxes are made by cutting squares of equal size, four on each side of the 95 centimeter edges. One square from the left corner, one from the middle, and two from the right that makes the lip. Cut out the squares, fold along what would be the dotted lines, and voila, a pizza box. Not convinced? Order one and see for yourself. Calculus is used to find the length of the sides of the squares so that the box has a maximum value. The volume of our box is found by length times width times height. The height is x, that's the size of our square. The width is 47 minus 2x, and the length is 95 minus 4x. Our volume formula is x times 47 minus 2x times 95 minus 4x divided by 2 because of the fold over. Let's clean that equation up with a little algebra. Volume equals 4x cubed minus 189x squared plus 2232.5x. Now we can do the derivative. The derivative is 12x squared minus 378x plus 2232.5. We need to set the derivative equal to zero to find critical points. Use your calculator and the quadratic formula to find the zeros. The zeros are x equals 7.875 and 23.625, which is not a reasonable answer. I'll let you figure out why. When the derivative changes from a positive to a negative, we have a maximum value. If we cut the squares, of length of 7.875 centimeters, we create a pizza box with maximum volume. It's not magic, it's mathematics.